Mister. What do you think you're doing? Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. Haha, <laughs> good morning all. Don't know if you can see over my shoulder. Finally here. Video I've been promising for ages. Got the old man with me. Uh, just seen some drone footage of the, the dam. We got the bottom gates open. I was hoping I was going to have the top open because that would have made some cracking shots, but unfortunately not. I was tempted to go through the arches as well. I'm glad I didn't, as you've seen, it's uh, very high up on the water level today. So we're just at the bottom, underneath. Come down to the Sculpture Park. Uh, nice big open area to set the drone off. But also, one of Dad's friends has got a tree dedicated to it down there, so we thought we'd come and have a look. And then just taking a walk back through the Sculpture Village. There's one over my shoulder there, somewhere. There aren't many sculptures in the sculpture village. <laughs> but it is bloody freezing. It's four or five degrees. Clouds are finally starting to break. So we're getting some blue sky. Dad actually remembered his camera this time. But one thing not many people realise is we have redwoods. And these are the baby ones. The adult ones are over there, somewhere in the distance. Beyond, funnily enough, behind the toilet block. <laughs> yeah, this is a an unknown little part. We like that, I mean, not many people come down no, here anymore. Because no. it's just private drive when you come down. We pulled in, it was like, we're going the right way. And all gravel and hardcore, and you come out to a tiny, tiny little parking area. <coughs> which I'll show you in a minute because we're nearly there. And then you just got that lovely little bit, just sit underneath. There is a bridge by the car to go onto the other side, so you can walk up to the cafe tea rooms, which is over there, over yonder. So you got cafe just after the dam, then a tea room and a bike hire, around the corner, play area. Craft shop. Oh yeah, and the craft shop. Spent many a friggin' hour in that bloody thing. <laughs> so yeah, this is pretty much where I spent every weekend of my youth. Always down the caravan, coming up here. I think we even cycled it once, which nearly killed us all. Yeah. 14, as Dad just said, 14 mile trip round on bikes. Me and my brother were absolutely loving it. Because we're at that age where so we follow the path round and down. That looks a bit slipper. But I don't want you going on, so the tip mine will kill me. <laughs> yeah, the bridge is just behind me. That takes you over. You can walk all the way around. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Should be able to. Yeah, sun's just breaking through now onto the dam. So we're in for a, a lovely day. Cold. My hands are already going pink. I've got big gloves in my bag. Managed to put this on. 
yeah, there's the, that's the car park. <laughs> it literally is that. There's room for what, three or four cars if you look at. But you're on next to the, the little babbling brook, and she's a feeder river, or the outlet river from the dam. There's 50-60 car park over there. Oh yeah, yeah, if you follow the path round, up and over, I'll show you on the drone in a minute, if you haven't already. There's a nice big tarmac car park over on the other side, which is new, because the last time I parked up there, it was all gravel hardcore. But it has been a while since we've been up here properly. Dad's on the hunt for pine cones for mum. So he was going to buy some the other day. And Dad was like, yeah, we're going to like Verba. I'll just go grab you some. Yeah, it's a gorgeous little spot. I will say loads of redwoods. And there's a lovely little way. Uh, it's in focus. Just there. There you go. Oh, that's different, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, there's plenty around here. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm going to take a walk back to the car now. Uh, I need to get my phone on charge. I should have brought my cable as well, because this needs to go on charge. I'm only at 50% on this, because I'm an idiot. I forgot I used it to illuminate the other night. And yeah, well, uh, I might stick my mount up. Don't know yet and then just record the, the drive through up to the waterfalls. I'll put the exact name down here when we get there because it's a mouthful and I'm not going to try and pronounce it. I don't want to butcher it. So yeah, I'll see you at the, see you the waterfalls. Oh, the car park. Right, right. Just made a quick pit stop. Oh, piss stop, if you might. I'm going to be squinting because the sun is, does finally come over the mountains. You can probably see from the behind me. Uh, Still show you the dam from above. So you got the toilets behind me, and there is a walk going up. So you got the RSP boy centre there, where it used to be, it might have moved now, looks like it's still there. And then literally where that van is, just behind it, it's the coffee shop and a bird hide. You follow the road all the way down to the main, another main car park, and there's a tea room, there used to be a tea rooms and a crash shop and stuff around there. But yeah, here's the dam. So, when I was recording, just a moment to give, we were down there. So we were over down yonder. The drone we took off from over here. You used to be able to walk all the way up there, but I've fenced it off now. I'm guessing, so the some idiots decided to try and climb that or canoe will row. But as you can see, the, uh, the gates are open. It's a long way down. So you've got the gates on, so all the way down. And there's the view. That's what we come for. Sorry, right, I've got my uh, power bank attached. So I'm having a judder a bit. So Lake Verme Hotel, just up there, over here. On the dam. Sorry. <laughs> Dad left his camera in the car. So yeah, as I was saying, Vermeer Hotel's just up there. There we go. It's a nice drive. Me and Dad might go up there today. Depending, might go and get a coffee. Might have a beer. That are yet. Then you got all of that, and the lake still goes round. Excuse the noise, quad bike coming through. So the lake goes all the way around there. So it's seven mile. Then there's the Princess Tower. So I'm hoping we can park up. Hey, yeah, yeah, just deafen my fucking mic out. I was just deaf in my mic out, I went, hold on. <laughs> so yeah, there is parking, well, the boat club's there, there is parking all the way around. I do want to try and find a launch spot, 
close because I want to go around that princess tail because I think I'll make a cracking shot. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I think there's parking on. There's probably labels up there. There's, there's parking on this side. Then I'll just send oh, it across. On this side. Yeah, yeah, we'll come. Opposite, yeah. We'll come back that one. Okay. But yeah, as you can see, the, uh, the sun is directly behind me now, just peeking its head over the over the brim of the mountains. <laughs> yeah, I know. But absolutely beautiful. This is why I love coming out. Ignoring the uh, sound of the freaking angle grinder in the background. But yeah, it is absolutely stunning. And like I say, rarely people go down there, so if you want some peace and quiet, that is the place to go. Unfortunately, I won't be able to record any of the trip around the lake. Well, not stationary anyway, because I, I picked my mouth up and then thought, nah, I ain't gonna bother. So you're just gonna have to deal with jumping in that cars. But yeah, we're gonna head back to the car now, go back across the dam and go to the right side of the lake as you're looking at it, because the left hand side is a bit longer. Oop, curb. And it's a lot more higgledy piggledy, so we'll go back over 